Hey everybody, this is Dream, and today I'm going to be reviewing Tux and Fanny. Tux and Fanny is developed and published by Ghost Time Games, and it comes out on February 25th of 2025, sorry, 2022, and this game is an adventure game. And the basic premise of the game is that you have to look around these ho your house, as well as the land around your house and other areas, in order to find items that are going to help you complete the puzzles in the game itself. And what I mean by puzzles is, is there's like, for instance, there's these books in this thing, and they give you these pu clues that can help you uh, complete other puzzles. And, of course, you want to find, you know, all the different things uh, that you're looking for. Um, overall, the game is pretty straightforward from the capacity that it's just a walking simulator where you look around looking for items that are going to help you complete other things. And then there's this other area on the computer which has all these little games that you can play. Um, and there's actually a lot of achievements tied to these little games. Uh, so that's something you can do in the game as well. Overall, the game is pretty s simple, though it is fairly long. And uh, it's not something that I would find it very interesting. And But I do feel like it's the type of game that kind of has that it's so kind of silly that people are going to like it a lot as a result, uh, which is kind of a weird thing, but it is how some games are seen, and I feel like this kind of has a chance to be in that kind of uh, capacity. But at any rate, um, from the perspective of the game, uh, like I said, it is quite long. It's just, I'm not sure the point of the game overall. Like, basically, the premise in the story is, is that you have these two guys, Tux and Fanny, and your goal is to figure out how to find a soccer ball and then fix it so that it's actually blown up because early on in the game it's not blown up and uh, you have to find a uh, find like a, uh, a bicycle pump so that you can actually blow it up so you can play soccer and I mean I don't know is this a strange game same strange premise um, some of the things in the game don't make a ton of sense but overall it's pretty easy to just kind of pick up and play if you're bored uh, but it's an, it's just a silly game. Uh, I wouldn't uh, really give it a high rating for quality or anything, but it does have some uh, interesting little things that are completely strange and don't make a whole lot of sense. And as you're saying that there's all these books here, and you might think, well, what's the point of having all those books? I can tell you that these books actually have a lot of information in them that is important. So it's a little strange. And there's a lot to look at when it comes to that. But I think that's just kind of the point of the game. Like when I was fighting certain air people, it just caused, like some of these books were necessary, even though I didn't really think they would be. But anyway, uh, I don't have a whole lot more to say about the game. It's just a strange game overall. And like I said, I think some people will find it interesting. I'm really not one of those type of people that are going to find a game like this interesting. It's probably something that kids would like a lot more than adults. Uh, but, uh, Overall, it's not the worst thing I've ever played. Let's see if they actually have a price in the store now. I'm not certain that they do. But, uh, let me see. Where's the store? I will say... No, not available yet. Um, overall, I will say that the game itself uh, does take quite a big, long time in order to complete the adventure. Uh, it says over 10 hours, and that's not a exaggeration. It definitely is. Um... And, but you're really going to have to like this style of game in order to want to play this for that amount of time. So that's pretty much what I have to say about the game. If you do pick it up, let us know in the comments what you think about it. And have a nice day, guys.